The East Coast Air Corridor was disturbed with widespread delays and cancellations over the weekend. And technology was to blame for this flypocalypse. A technical malfunction at an air traffic control center in Northern Virginia started the far-reaching saga of delays, cancellations and reroutings. The glitch was found in the Route Automation Modernization Computer System or ERAM which acts as the backbone for the Federal Aviation Administration FAA's efforts to overhaul the air traffic control. ERAM uses satellite technology to manage the spacing between airplanes and their flight paths. It is part of FAA's next-gen system which will replace radar with a GPS-based system for air traffic management. With the help of GPS, planes will be able to travel safely in packed skies closer to other planes. Currently, planes are required to fly to waypoints before turning to a final destination. But NextGen will allow them to fly direct routes. This will save billions of dollars in fuel costs apart from minimizing pollution. FAA Administrator Michael Huerta says ERAM gives the agency a big boost in technological horsepower over the system it replaces. Huerta adds the system enables each controller to handle more aircrafts over a larger area, resulting in increased safety, capacity and efficiency. It should be noted that ERAM was launched four years behind schedule and several million dollars over budget. But considering the U.S. airline industry is projected to serve 1 billion passengers annually by 2021, NextGen is exactly what is needed. Alaska Airlines Captain Sean Cassidy agrees. I think this uh, modernization program is every bit as important as the highway program was uh, back in the 50s and the 60s because if we don't improve upon our decades old yet still very safe uh, air transportation system then we are going to be facing some of those same kind of aging issues 